What's going on everyone? Lucky here and today we're going to be taking a look at the patch notes for patch 7.2 and as per usual we'll be just looking at the battle royale section of uh, this patch. Um, quite a bit of stuff to cover so we're just going to jump into it. Sorry for the lack of patch notes videos um, you know recently. Uh, I think I missed last week's as well uh, but anyways let's jump into it. So what do we have new? We have a scope revolver uh, looks like a heavy revolver. It doesn't look like the old tool revolver. It looks like a Deagle revolver mix. That that barrel's very uh, big. It looks like the Deagle barrel. Wow, that's just a revolver, you know, whatever gun. Um, there's a glider redeploy item that takes a spot in your inventory. Uh, we'll review that a little bit more. Uh, the limited time mode one shot, which I'm pretty sure was just in the. It was just. A, it's not new. It's still. It was there yesterday and the day before, I believe. Um, I saw it. I know I did. Uh, so let's jump into the, the weapons, right? We've got the um, Scope Revolver. It's a epic and legendary variant. It uses medium ammo, not heavy ammo. Uh, 42, 44 body shot, available from loot chests, um, uh, supply drops, and vending machines floor loot is what I meant to say. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe it's still a 2, two multiplier. It might be a 2-5 multiplier. Um, I don't remember what the Deagle, I mean not the Deagle, the regular revolver was. Um, I know a headshot could do like 130, so I'm not sure what the multiplier is. It's either, it's either 88 or 100 and I think 10 would be the correct math on that. I don't know. On the, you know, the gold variant um, for a headshot. So who knows? Um, we'll see. I think it's six shots too. Uh, the fact that it uses medium ammo means it's not as powerful as the Deagle. Uh, so... So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, uh, added gliders, um, an item that grants glider redeploy. Uh, it takes up an inventory slot. Um, you don't need to actually select the item. Um, all you got to do is just jump like you're going to, like glider redeploy was available and it would be there. Uh, it is a rare item and it comes with 10 charges. Uh, each deploy uses one charge. When all charges are used, the item will disappear from your inventory slot. Uh, glider redeploy does not consume a charge when using a launch pad, rifts to go, or respawning in a limited time mode. And as well can be found uh, floor loot, chest, vending machines, and supply llamas. Um, so a uh, mini gun adjustments. We had some mini gun adjustments here. Um, the uh, They added an overheating mechanic, uh, overheat occurs after approximately six seconds of continuous fire uh that's just so someone can't some noob just can't hold down you know the trigger and just spam away with the minigun because they have a thousand bullets uh so pretty good reduce the <clears throat> excuse me reduce the wind up time by 37 percent you can use you can start shooting the minigun a lot faster but you can't hold it for very long and they updated the audio for the minigun uh Rarity color adjustments. Balloons were changed to basically from purple to blue. Stink bombs from purple to blue. And the scoped AR was turned uh, changed from purple blue to blue green. Um, so yeah. The following projectile based weapons now have the same projectile trajectory as the heavy sniper rifle. Uh, that is the bolt action suppressed sniper rifle, semi auto sniper rifle, and hunting rifle. So all snipers have the same bullet trajectory. Um, that means that you know that the heavy sniper would have less bullet drop and uh, so yeah it's the same way now for all these which is interesting um, I guess that the only difference well I mean I, I wouldn't say I guess as in a bad thing but I mean the heavy sniper difference is um, he used to have three differences obviously it can knock down builds very easily uh, heavy damage uh, body shot 150 157 and uh, the third difference was the less bullet drop at range um, so that's no longer a thing. So it's just, you know, only two differences. So keep that in mind. Uh, weapon shot first accuracy now works with icy feet and while on zip lines. Interesting. Uh, the reticule center dot, uh, on scoped rifles has been reduced in size. Uh, basically it's to help eliminate the fact that the dot might be on somebody, but because it's a big dot doesn't mean you're shooting. So, or hitting somebody, uh, trap, uh, drop chance adjustments. Uh, total drop chance of traps from floor loot increased from 3.9% to 4.7. Cozy campfire. Um, the floor loot increased from a 0.26% to a 0.73%. Uh, so you'll probably see a decent amount of more cozy campfires. Um, 
and then the loot llama increase when if you get a, the chance to get a, a campfire from a llama has gone from 6.6% to 15.4%. That's a big change. Uh, launch pads from uh, the floor loot 0.5 to a 0.9%. And then the llama increased from a 13.2% to a 2 or I'm sorry, 20.7%. And then they dropped the chance. Um, they lowered the, the percentage for turrets, which is good because the turrets were quite a bit. Um, you know, from 0.8 to 0.73, and then uh, 20.4 in llamas to 15.4. And then this is a big one. Uh, small shields max uh, stack size has been increased, I mean, decreased from 10 to 6. So. You know that's a total of 150 shield you can hold on you and now you can hold three full pots that's 150 shield it looks like they don't want anybody being able to gain more than 150 shield on them at a time um not that you know you can surpass 50 shield with minis but you get the point that i'm trying to make so it's an interesting change um i think it would make full pots more valuable i still still think people would go for a stack of 10 minis but now that you can only hold six um, a stack of three pots, three full pots is probably more valuable just because you can get that 100 shield instead of just 50. Um, some bug fixes here. Uh, fix the bug that caused you to lose the ability to switch weapons if firing a grappler while crashing a vehicle or interacting with an object during travel. Um, let's see. Uh, fix the bug where your ability to fire would be delayed after discarding a grappler. Remove the ability to ride or be pushed by a grappler due to the ability uh, for players. To move fast enough to cause network issues. Uh, fix balloons not being popped by explosions. Fix issue causing odd dynamite size scaling when picking it up and rethrowing. That must have been hilarious. Uh, when a player is eliminated by down but not out, bleed out damage, the elimination distance is calculated from the original down location rather than the distance when they are fully eliminated. Um, also fix an issue that uh, could cause scoped rifles to have full uh, accuracy earlier than intended. I'm not sure what that means, but <clears throat> whatever fix an issue for the center dot of reticle okay that that's whatever uh fix dynamite rethrow ability to be uh from being canceled by changing weapons um <clears throat> players no longer receive credit for a no scope elimination feed if they use a scope to eliminate a player good because all anytime you got a snipe it was a no scope everyone was a god no scoping god everyone should have been invited to phase so some zip line improvements here. Improvements. Uh, added the ability to change direction via player movement input button. Just move in the direction you'd like to go while riding a zip line, no jumping required. So instead of having like, if you want to, you say you're going north, but you want to go south, you, you'd have to jump and then turn around and then and start taking you south. You can literally just hit back and it will take turn you around. Uh, destruction effects have been turned back on while running the zip line players will destroy the nearby player buildings before attaching the zip lines so their paths become clear um, at a third decimal place for mouse controller sensitivity to allow for more granular values uh, values sorry <clears throat> to help with situations where walls are built mostly underground we've added uh, functionality where an extra piece will be built for free on top of that piece so I know everyone's had that issue where you go to place a wall and it sticks like two inches, three inches out of the ground and you're like, well, I wanted a wall in front of me. It takes your 10 mats, places that wall on the ground and then adds an additional wall on top of that without using any mats. How effective is it? Who knows? I'm sure there's going to be some kind of like bug where it doesn't always work or, um, you know, it, it says right here this occurs when the wall piece is showing less than 30% above the ground. Which is still frustrating because when you go to place a wall and it's at 40 percent it's gonna yeah okay well we'll see how that goes i'm sure it's a good thing but it's still not perfect and you know that's probably the best solution we have right now gamepad sensitivity building sensitivity change also applies to edit mode editing will no longer interrupt gunfire and pickaxe swings corn stalks will no longer block gunfire i had no idea they did that that's interesting Editing a structure will now begin without waiting for a response from the server. This should cut down on ghost shots before editing and make it a smoother experience. Ghost shots is when you go to edit and you go to or build or whatever and you you're you have your you do it so fast that your gun shoots, 
you hear the shot go off only you hear it it doesn't use a bullet but it's you you sound like you shot that's what a ghost shot is um confirming the edit will still require sending data to server which i missed something editing structure yeah okay uh on data on the server to be impacted by high ping or poor server performance uh vehicle impact damage to a player will now respect shields instead of directly applying player health so if you get hit <clears throat> excuse me get hit by a vehicle it will uh do shield damage first then health uh, when a plane explodes due to any reason it will now deal damage to both passenger and pilots this damage no longer ignores shields again it will do shield first damage uh, regular health later after shields infinite dab is even more infinite yay adjust map art to more accurately represent player and marker positions textures of props used in emotes uh, are now pre-streamed so scorecard and other emotes that um that use pop, uh, props will have less chance of using low resolution texture the stormwing passengers now have the same hold to exit functionality as pilots uh some more bug fixes this is a big patch notes lots lots of stuff it's a long video uh fixed instances instances of glider redeploy not deploying when exiting stormwing that sucks had it happen to me it's a terrible experience uh fixed grenade throw animation not playing the follow-through when watching other players throw a grenade fixed preview length of Okay, completing a player mat play a match with a friend. Daily challenge not greatly counts toward other quests that require. Okay, uh, fix some issues with zip lines. Players no longer be flung across the map or get in broken animation states. A cooldown has been added to ensure jump spamming will not allow players with mild network issues to fall through the zip line cl uh, collision. The zip line magnet will no longer remain over players' head. Uh, players no longer fall when colliding with enemy structures. Players no no longer dismount zip lines at steep angles. When under bad network conditions, fix an issue where players would sometimes take two instances of impact damage uh, from getting hit by the Stormwing. That sucks. Didn't know that was a thing. Damage uh, numbers when shooting mounted turrets now properly displays vehicle damage instead of player damage. Good to know. Uh, players who are emoting on the Star Island will no longer continue emoting after jumping from the battle bus. They should have left that in, man. That was a great. That was awesome. That was hilarious. It always every time I fly in, I see someone emoting, and it was it was good. Made it less painful flying in. Uh, glider and umbrellas will no longer appear sideways or misalign when dropping from the battle bus. Oh man. Uh, some event stuff. Tournament systems have been significantly updated to support upcoming features. We'll be operating a series of small scale test events as we test these updates with more players. Um, all the tournaments will be removed from the event tab on Switch and mobile devices for the time being. Yada yada. Players will automatically be removed from a match after 60 seconds, uh, 60 seconds of spectating. After being eliminated oh that's for events okay that's to prevent like any like I don't know um, <clears throat> fixed shield damage sound playing when shooting or getting hit by teammates um, gliders not that have music can now play the music in the lobby preview uh, they reduce the volume of the storm wing reduce the volume of the boom box thank goodness because that was so loud added unique bouncing sound to dynamite uh, fix music cutting out on mobile switch platforms fix incorrect uh, boost audio loop for quad crasher on mobile switch fix missing medium distance uh, scoped ar gunshot sounds fix loud winter biome ambient audio on mobile slash switch all right updated the ammo icons and inventory to look more realistic okay cool i guess building resources of spectated players are now visible uh Prevent pickup HUD interaction prompts from appearing while in a vehicle since picking up is disabled while in a vehicle. Uh, fixed error displays when a friend request fails. Prevent special preview actions. Uh, play against switch model, full screen, whatever. Uh, when viewing a cosmetic item. Um, fixed a red background showing up when chat window is open. Prevent an unrelated loading screen from sometimes showing up instead of the selected loading screen while doing a full preview. Battle Royale players can now accept party invites from players and save the world and join games in progress. Our animation, both Lynx and Zenith now have custom idle poses in the lobby. The size of the Red Knight Shield and Raven back bling from the Frozen Bundle now match uh, matches their original versions. Fixed a bug that was preventing a uh, preventing the Deadfire outfit from being reactive in the game. Improved quality of the golf clap emote on mobile and switch. Fixed a replay loading issue, yada yada, mobile issues, and that is it. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. That's a 15-minute video. 
That's a lot of stuff. I didn't expect this patch to be that big. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new revolver. Your thoughts on the glider redeploy being an item. I know some people like glider redeploy, some don't. Um, and uh, so lots of changes, a lot of little things here and there, hopefully for the better. We will see once we get in and play some games. Appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Take care.